In this lesson, we will learn how to determine the fair price of a lottery ticket. For example, depending on the prize and how much you're paying, is the lottery ticket worth the cost? By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to apply this logic to any lottery you play, as long as you know the probability of winning. The question reads, assume that it takes $1 to play a state's daily number. The player chooses a three-digit number between 000 and 999, inclusive, and if the number is selected that day, then the player wins $500. This means that the player's profit is 500 minus 1, which totals up to 499. We want to know what is the expected value of this game and what should the price of the ticket be in order to make this game fair. To calculate the expected value of any game, we multiply the probability times the value associated with that probability. In this case, the probability of winning is 1 in 1000. And it's 1000 as opposed to 999 because 000 is one of the possibilities. So as mentioned, the probability of winning is 1 in 1000. And if you win, you get $500 minus what you put in, that's 499. Notice that we're multiplying the probability and the value associated with it. Furthermore, you have to take in the probability of losing. And that's 999 over 1000. And if you fall into this category, you will lose $1. So we'll represent the loss of $1 as negative 1. Multiplying and adding this up should give us the expected value for this game. So let's use our calculator and do this quickly. We have bracket 1 over 1000 times 499 plus 999 over 1000 times negative 1. We end up with a value of negative 0 0.50. What this means is that the player should expect to lose 50 cents for every game played. Now because the expected value isn't 0, by definition, this is an unfair game. That being said, if a game has an expected value of zero, then the game is called fair. So how do we make this a fair game and change the price of the ticket? Now we already know why the lottery maker does this. It's to make a profit, obviously. So from part A, we see that if we pay a dollar to play the game, we can expect to lose 50 cents per game on average. Therefore, we should pay 50 cents less to make the game fair. We can verify this as follows. Assume that you pay 0 0.50 to play the game, and as before, you are paid $500 to win and nothing if you lose. We recalculate the equation that we have above. So for this part, it's 1 over 1,000 times 500 minus 50 cents, which makes 499.50. Remember, it's only fair if we pay 50 cents plus the other probability, and you lose negative 0 0.50. If you multiply this all out, just as we did in question A, you should end up with a value of 0. And by definition, this expected value means that the game is fair. So only if you pay a price of 0 0.50 or 50 cents is this ticket fair. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can apply this to any lottery that you play. Take any lottery that you play, find out the probability and multiply it by the prize. Then add the probability of you losing minus how much you paid, and that should be the expected value for the game, essentially. If you have any further questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And now you know how to determine the fair price of a lottery ticket.